Well, the night sky is putting on a show this week, including a meteor shower and a rare double comet encounter. Meteorologist Ryan Shopta takes us stargazing. First, if you want to see a shooting star, look southeast. The Orionids meteor shower will peak through Wednesday, October 22nd. The shooting stars will originate from the constellation Orion. Will be visible through the late evening because they originate from Orion. So you're looking at close to after midnight, 1 a.m. ish, when Orion starts rising up. Now, the main event two different comets will be racing across the sky. Starting with Comet Lemon, which was named after the Arizona Observatory, who discovered it earlier this year, and will have a soft green glow. About a magnitude of four, which is visible to the naked eye, so it's relatively bright, and in fact, it's going to reach its closest approach to Earth starting October 21st. So it can be seen during the late evening just above the horizon. Look north, northwest, and not too far from the Big Dipper just after sunset. In the northern area, it's kind of like near the Big Dipper slash Ursa Major constellation. Early in the evening and early in the morning because we're now getting into the point where the Big Dipper starts going below the horizon. Now the second comet, Comet Swan, will be fainter, farther away and more difficult to see. Um, it is going to be faint. It has a ba magnitude of 5 slash 6, so it's on the little fainter side. And depending on cloud cover or light pollution, that may obstruct the view. So find a nice dark spot. I try to get out as far west as possible from like San Antonio, so that way you can get a good nice western view of the horizon. So the Orionids meteor shower, Comet Lemon and Comet Swan will all be visible the next few evenings and overnights, most of the naked eye, but bring binoculars or a telescope to make it easier. For Comet Swan, look southeast. For Comet Lemon, look north and keep your eyes open for shooting stars in between. Ryan Shoptal, Ken's Five.